Hi guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a dynamic flow in After Effects. So let's get started. Okay guys, let's start with the new composition and I will call this text. And let's go with uh, default settings. Uh, I will go with full HD, 24 and 10 second duration. I'm gonna hit OK. Now let's go to a uh, toolbar, select the uh, text tool choose uh, any font you like and i'm gonna use this font and let's call this flow and press ctrl alt home on the keyboard it will reset the anchor point and let's align it to the middle you can also press s to scale it up something around here now let's animate this so go to text properties and here i will go to animate and set the opacity property and let's set this to zero now go to range selector 1, create a keyframe in the 0 second and go to 2 second forward. Let's increase this. Now we have a simple animation like this. Now go to advanced and here I will set this randomize order to on. It will reveal randomizely like this. Now select these keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. It will ease okay looks good now let's quickly create a new solid and let's call this saber let's hit ok now go to windows and effect and preset search for saber effect this is a free plugin from video copilot you guys can check out in the link in the description let's double click now uh, go to preset and i will use this hes go to customize core and set the saber to text layer and text layer to our flow text okay now uh, let's disable this flow text we don't need it let's also set this to effect and mask and go to alpha mode and set this to mask core now it will react to the our animation okay you guys can go to flicker and increase the flicker intensity to around maybe 200 also you can increase the flicker speed let's give it 30 it looks pretty good you guys can also increase uh, decrease the uh, glow intensity if you think it's too much okay perfect now let's create the flow go uh, create a new uh, composition and let's call this flow let's hit ok now bring it here now I'm gonna drag and drop this text composition here as you can see now let's set the blend mood to screen now let's duplicate by pressing ctrl D on your keyboard now let's drag it down I'm gonna make this 3d layer now press R and use this X rotation I'm gonna rotate at this and let's drag it down like this bring it up something like this okay now select this text layer and go to toolbar and select the rectangle tool I'm gonna add a mask so let's draw a simple mask like this now set this to invert and then press F to reveal the mask feather and I'm gonna increase this mask feather as you can see it will nicely blend to the other composition now let's give uh, some texture to the flow so i'm gonna set this to full and create a new solid let's call this texture and hit ok and search for fractal noise effect and you guys can increase this contrast and brightness decrease the brightness I will stick with this one okay now let's drag and drop and disable this one now go to this below text layer and search for compound blur effect and I'm gonna double click this now set the blur layer to texture and set this to effect and mask now you can increase this maximum blur you can also invert this as you can see our blur layer uh, not following the uh, text layer so press text and press uu it will reveal the uh, transform now select this position and x rotation now copy this by pressing ctrl c 
now set this texture to 3d as well now select this and press ctrl v and it will copy the all the uh, transform data okay you can also just press r and rotate it or you like something like this let's disable it as you can see now we have a nice looking flow you guys can also play with the brightness of the fractal noise and now if you press space bar as you can see now we have a dynamic flow in after it you can also create a camera uh, make sure all the uh, layers are in 3d now press right click new and camera and i will go with two node camera and hit ok now press p it will bring position go to zero second create the keyframe now go to 10 second and i will animate the c position of the camera so we have a slight animation like this i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and learn something new if you have any question you know and thank you so much for the participants i wish you guys in the next one have a great day